Hello, my name is Mathilde Chevel and I am a field application engineer at Kinova. In this video, we will see how to configure the communication between your robot and your computer and how to access the robot using the web app. I will show you how to use the web app from a computer, but our web app is also available from your smartphones or your computer tablets. The web app is accessible from any web browser. This tutorial is for, is for Windows 10. We will see how to configure the wired communication with your Gen3, so be sure that you are connected to it with an internet cable. Open the control panel of your computer. Then go to the network and internet subfolder and then go to network and sharing center. This page presents all your active network, Wi-Fi or Ethernet. If your robot is well connected to your computer by Ethernet, you should see an internet connection here. Click on the connection to configure it and then go to properties. Among all the properties, we need to configure the Internet Protocol version 4 here. Click on it and then click on properties. For most of you, this address is probably already set up or automatically defined. In order to communicate with our robot, we need to define a specific IP address and a subnet mask for our computer. So, Click on the Use the following IP address option and enter the following address 192.168.1 and for the last number you can choose the number you want between 2 and 255. Be, car be careful, you cannot use 10 because it's the IP address of your robot. I will choose 11 for example. Then, press Tab to automatically fill the subnet mask. If it doesn't work, you can enter the address 255.255.255.0 manually. Then, click on OK, then close, and finally, close again. You have configured your wired LAN settings. Now, let's try to reach the web app. To reach the web app, open a Chrome tab. Then, Enter the default IP address of your robot, which is 192.168.1.10 and then click on Enter. You will arrive in the Enter portal of the web app. In this pop-up page, you need to enter your username and your password. If it is your first connection, you need to enter the default username and password, which are admin and admin. Then you can select your language. For this tutorial, I will stay in English. Then click on connect. And now we are connected to the web app. Now that we are connected to the web app, I will show you how to send command to your robot. In the bottom of your screen, you can see the control panel. The control panel allows you to control your robot in Cartesian mode in Angular mode, to select the admittance control mode, to see the real-time video streaming if you have a vision module, or to take snapshot of the robot position. The last thing that the control panel allows you is to send actions. To send an action, click on the actions icon. Then a tab will appear. In this tab, you can select the action you want to send to your robot. It can be to reach a Cartesian pose, or uh, to reach a join pose, or to execute a sequence of motion. For this tutorial, select Demo Sequence. The old button indicates if you have to maintain the Place button to play the action. If your robot is in a safe environment, I'd advise you to deactivate it. Then, Click on the play button and your robot will play a sequence of four movements. If you want to stop your robot during the motion, you can click on the stop button. If you want to repeat the action, activate the repeat button. And now you just see the evolutions of your sequence of action. This is the end of the video. Thank you for watching it.
In the next series of video, I will give you a complete description of the web app, what contents you can find in it, and all the actions you can do from it. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.